I'm at the car place, car maintenance, and I pick up Stephanie. She has a hard time with her Audi. Yeah, the oil's leaking, and so he has to figure out how to seal it. And how long do you have this problem now? Oh, like. I don't know. Year over year. Yeah. He knows me. Yes, like I just gave him a hug. Of course he does. <laughs> and been going um, here tons of times because of my it's like an Audi's are known for having oil problems. Yes. Like Abaji has the same problem yes, with his car, but it's not nearly as bad as yes. mine. So And Stephanie will get a new car. I new really car wanna this. get a green lime green energy it's called energy green pearl. Um Honda Civic Coupe, yeah. 2016. Right. Um, yeah, it just has really good reviews. Right. It's a really pretty color. It's very like upgraded, you know. Um, it has literally all the upgrades you can think of for a car. And it's a really good price. That's right. Which I love, yeah. you know. We are in beautiful San Juan Capistrano. We and uh, drink some coffee here and later we will eat some lunch. It's called the Los Rios Historic District and it's right next to the famous San Juan Capistrano Mission. It's a very small place but it has a lot of galleries and stores and restaurants, cafes. It even has a petting zoo. Of course, we don't go there anymore. This is where I went with Stephanie uh, in February. We celebrate her birthday. I don't think they have vegan food. And it says soup, salad, sandwiches, wraps. Shall we check out the Hummingbird House Cafe? Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Is it open? I have never been here. And of course we have to find vegan version. Look how cute this little cottage is. The whole historic district is like that. Welcome to our cottage. We have just the regular the falafels, those are good. Please, chicken and lamb and turkey and tuna. Oh. But what did you see? The falafel might be vegan. Let's see if they have some vegetarian donuts. Yeah, let's see. Stephanie is ordering for us. The petting zoo is like a place. Oh, you've been there? Yeah, I've been there with the kids like three, four years ago. It's like a cute little zoo and the kids can pet the animals. I don't think animals want to be touched all day by little kids in general strangers. Can you imagine your pet and everybody is touching you? Every stranger who walks by touches you and... Yeah, I guess it's nice to get treats. So anyways, I'm doing the no poo method now for one week. Stephanie and I, we were really like laughing about this word no poo. It's pretty funny, no poo. I use apple cider and water. So I use half apple cider, half water. Have we used the uh, no poo method for like how long now? Do you want to set up potatoes? It's not, I don't really call it the no poo method. I just wash my hair when I want to. Right. It's not all the time. This apple cider vinegar and water. Sometimes, like once every few months with apple cider vinegar. Right. Or sometimes with just oatmeal soap. Right. But yeah, I don't really focus on washing as often. It doesn't need to be washed because my hair is really dry naturally. My hair feels already softer, healthier. The only thing I have to say is a lot of people say the hair doesn't smell like vinegar after you wash it with vinegar. My hair does. My hair very much does smell like vinegar. So I will tell you in one month how I still feel about the no poo method. I have to wait for at least two minutes because Stephanie wants to take pictures. I need to have my coffee. So this is the eggplants and this is the hummus. I'm also eating my healthy salad. 
for you. I definitely shared videos yesterday. One of the videos I just was able to watch for two seconds. It was about animal cruelty. I'm pretty sure she lost a couple of friends sharing all this video. No? Got a lot of likes. Everything tastes amazing. The salad is nice and crispy and fresh. And they put some lime juice or lemon juice in it. It tastes very good combined with the um, tomatoes and beans. The hummus tastes amazing. It's a pita bread. Mm. you try the eggplant? I haven't tried it yet. That's the next thing I will try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just can get better. What I like about San Juan Capistrano is sometimes it feels like Italy, sometimes it feels like Greece, and sometimes it feels like Germany. All the countries I love. The San Juan Capistrano district is so unique, so special. This is my mom's favorite place and yes, when she comes in two weeks, we will go here. And this is also the oldest house in this San Juan Capistrano district. I just found out this house was built in 1895. Of course, some stuff is kitschy. What is kitsch for one person can be treasure for someone else. Or how do you say it? It's fine. This is a beautiful butterfly sanctuary. It's a very small area, but very pretty. I found a you found a butterfly? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now we are going to the Mission San Juan Capistrano. Founded November 1st, 1776. And it's definitely worth a visit. I'm not getting in today. I have to redo my membership. <laughs> 